Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. We stocked up on some goods in Howard, got some bread and bait and headed to pick our camping spot. So we are at Peaceful River Camp. It is about 3.5 kilometers from Howard on the Burren River. It's $24 a night. It is a hip camp. We've got a book online. There is an IGA store in Howard. There's no facilities here, no power, no water. There's internet and phone service. We haven't caught a fish yet, but Ed's gonna catch crab tomorrow. He promised. Ed threw a crab pot in the afternoon we arrived and we will keep our fingers crossed. There's been a lot of rain and the river was full of fresh water. There's a jetty on site so I got my yabby pots organised and was hoping to get some prawns for live bait tomorrow. It was pretty cool overnight and we had to get the doona back out. The sunrises over the river were beautiful. It's a great spot for coffee. Then it was off to check the yabby pots so we could have a good fishing session. I caught a six pack of long armed river prawns. I'm not sure what the technical word for them is. Once Ed got up, we were off to check his crab pot. He caught the biggest eel and about three crabs. After careful extraction from the crab pot, the male was kept to put the ruler over. And yep, crab sangers are on the menu. Armed 
end with my collection of live bait, it was time for a fish. It's a grunter. The world's smallest grunter. Grunter? Yeah. Hey. On the first session, we lucked it in with one only very small baby grunter. and then didn't get another bite, not even a nibble. The fresh water was not helping. We tried for hours, but nothing. No dinner for you. Hey, Skippy. So this is the road to the campgrounds that I'd taken with the drone. And let me show you around the rest of the grounds. So the road ends about a kilometre long. It's a little bit rough and potholy, but if you take your time, it should be no problem. When you get to the end of the driveway, you pass this little shed and then there's this big grass to open area. You can then follow the road and it goes down to the river. So there's little spots all the way along the edge of the river and we chose not to go right down there. That's us over there on a level higher than the riverbank. And then there's about three or four spots along the edge of the river. So that's us there, one level up. And then you can follow this down, goes down to the next level. So this is down on the level now with the river. There's that one caravan site up there. And then there's another site here. Not sure how you'd, you'd have to do a tent or camper trailer in there, but it's right on the bank. Someone nicely put a fish rod, hot rod holder in there. And then you can come up here. There's another level and another camping spot. Just come around here and there's your jetty. Your jetty. Cool. And then you can go up this level. And there's another big grass open area here. You're allowed to have fires. There's inner fire pit, which they're scattered throughout the area. The second morning, the crab pot had a couple of jennies in it. No, only babies today. You'll get your nose, hey? You'll lose your nose. You'll lose your nose. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, you got your eel again. Anyone want an eel? Expert at handling them. Hey? Not not an expert at handling them. Can you grab it out? Someone does this one, Matt. You want a hand? <laughs> He's big, eh? Spicy. Oh, good shot, eh? He is. Hey? Oh, Do you want bird. him for bait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a crab and an eel. Fun. Funny thing is, I caught him. <laughs> we spent the afternoon looking round and drove to Burham Heads for an ice cream. It's about 20 minutes east of the camp. Next morning was crab cooking morning, so we boiled up the billy and Ed cooked him up. So that's going in there for 12 minutes. One cooked crab. Red one this time. One red crab. Then it was off to find a good spot for lunch. There was a spot just south of Howard off the Bruce Highway about a 30 kilometre drive. So we went for Luxie. There's a bit of dirt road and at the time when we were there it was in good condition. The day use area turned out okay with a couple of picnic tables. Yummo. The meat ants were a bit full on but other than that it was okay. We're just down here at Wongi Lakes having a couple of crab sandwiches for lunch and I read an article that said that the bird life here was very good. We're finding it very colourful. He's even tied to the tree so it can't float away. So you can stay at Wongi Waterholes. I've got a book online. There's only a couple of people camped here at the moment, about four sites I'd say, and it's bush, it's remote, there's not much internet or phone service, and there's a toilet block just up there. Here comes Ed with his cheesecake, thought he'd get it down before I got back, but he's going to be sharing. Leaving's always so much fun, makes it an adventure. We are heading south just after the new year into New South Wales for about three months. If you have any great cheap or free sites we can get our van onto, can you drop them in the comments below? Thanks heaps. Well that went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I'll drag her up this hill and we're off. So that's us for another week. Keep in contact, stay happy, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6 a.m. Good job, Eddie. Bye, Peaceful River Camp. You've been a blast.